Everyone loves our friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man, but how realistic are his web-slinging abilities? Well, let's take a look at the science behind his powers. The origin of his powers come from a spider, in particular a radioactive spider. Now, radioactivity is very dangerous and in some cases causes random mutations like extra limbs. However, in Spider-Man's case, when the radioactive spider bites him, the spider alters his DNA and gives him amazing abilities. In order for the spider to transfer these abilities, the spider must have released a retrovirus which must have been present in the spider's venom or saliva. A retrovirus can enter your cell and incorporate its own DNA into your DNA. This alters the composition and function of your cell. The retrovirus repeats this process until it alters every DNA in every cell, infecting the entire body. Spiders are covered with tiny hairs called setae. At the end of every setae are loads of minuscule hairs called spatulae. These hair cells are the reason why spiders have the ability to climb walls and stick to their surfaces. The tiny hair form a weak electrostatic attraction between surfaces due to the positive and negative charge distribution. This is called Van der Waals forces. A study has taken 225 climbing animal species with Van der Waals forces footpads. The study showed that as the mass of the animal increases, so does the adhesive pad surface area. Therefore, in order for Spider-Man to climb walls, he would need a large proportion of his body covered in these spatulae hair follicles and expose them to the climbing surface to create the electrostatic attraction he needs to climb. Silk-producing spiders contain a tube-like structure called spinnerets. Depending on the complexity of the species, spiders will have two or eight spinnerets, usually in pairs. Inside the spinneret, there are hundreds of tiny cones. These cones release a protein that has a harder outer crystalline layer, whereas the inside is more fluid-like, giving the spider silk high tensile strength and extensibility. But how likely is Spider-Man to have these silk-producing abilities? While pretty likely, as transgenic goats that contain the spider silk gene can produce large quantities of spider silk. Could Spider-Man's spidey senses warn him from danger? Spiders also have other hairs on their body called trichobathria. These hairs have the ability to detect vibration and changes in air pressure. So, Spider-Man's spidey senses could be tingling when in danger. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.